Um, hell is really interesting to me because I think what we think about the afterlife not only tells us exactly that, what kind of how we imagine what happens when we die, it tells us something about how we think about life on earth. And I think that for me, uh, studying about rhetoric of hell is particularly important because it has been used um, for centuries in really some painful ways. And so I study this language and this rhetoric in order to understand how it reflects what we think about um, life on earth and bodies on earth. When I'm teaching in the Rotel course, what I and my team teacher, Dr. Valenzano, really want students to walk away with is an appreciation of specifically how apocalyptic rhetoric and rhetoric about the afterlife is used in a variety of social and historical contexts and to get students to be good readers of social and historical context, as well as excellent analyzers of the rhetoric that they encounter every day. So I think students come to the course perhaps expecting that they're going to learn uh, the E! True Hollywood story of what is going on with this hell thing. Um, and what they find out is that there's a lot of development over the course of human history in how different cultures and societies have thought about the afterlife. And at the same time, even amidst that diversity of thought, we also see some common themes. And so there's a lot for students to kind of hold together in the course. And I think there's perhaps uh, more meat there than they had first expected.